To perform an abdominal aorta exam, we will begin at the umbilicus, at the distal portion of the abdominal aorta, and then move the transducer proximally all the way till we see the proximal abdominal aorta, which is just about at the level of the xiphoid process. We will image in both the long and the short axis, and we'll obtain several images and measurements as we do the exam. To perform an abdominal aorta ultrasound exam, we are going to use a curvilinear transducer. We are going to start just above the umbilicus and find the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta. To do so, we are going to start in a transverse orientation. Again, the probe is going to be just above the umbilicus. Here, we are going to find the abdominal aorta and see that it is resting on top of the thoracic vertebral body. We are going to take the transducer and just fan it and identify the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta into the two common iliac arteries. Once we have done that, we are actually going to freeze this image and we are going to make a measurement of the abdominal aorta. Once we have made that measurement, we are going to drag the transducer slowly up the abdominal aorta, ensuring that there are no aneurysms throughout. There may be times where we see bowel gas, and when we do so, applying some gentle pressure will dissipate that bowel gas. As we move more proximally, we will look to, to identify some important landmarks, including the SMA, we may need to have the patient take a deep breath to help us identify these structures a little more clearly. Again, if we encounter bowel gas, some slow, gentle, steady pressure over time will help dissipate that gas. Once we are finished imaging the aorta in its short axis or transverse orientation, we are going to rotate the transducer 90 degrees in its sagittal orientation such that the marker dot is pointed towards the patient's head. As we do so, we are again going to want to identify the important structures that come off the anterior wall of the abdominal aorta, including the celiac trunk as well as the SMA. We will look to ensure that there is no aneurysm, particularly a saccular aneurysm, and drag the transducer from cranial to caudal throughout, imaging the aorta in its long axis.